Hello friends, hello family, hello followers. It's Hike360 here, and I'm here to bring you another hike this week. We're at the Dick Young Forest Preserve over in Kane County in Illinois. And it's winter, in fact, it's December 31st, it's New Year's Eve. So we've got a 3.6 mile hike ahead of us. We're gonna be looping around Nelson Lake. And our trailhead is at this grain silo. And then we're gonna follow the trails around. What's cool about this hike this week, I've got snowshoes. So I got snowshoes for Christmas as a present to ensure that I keep hiking through the winter. And uh, we're gonna just trial and error it because I don't really know what to expect. Um, I've got them on. And there is snow, so... <laughs> I guess that's it, right? I guess that's but all both, you need. Both words of snow, shoes. <laughs> you right, got, got right. them on and there's snow. <laughs> <laughs> the equation is balanced, so really all it is is just moving forward now. So... And we I, got Neil with us today. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hiking today with, uh, with my dad, of course, and then with Neil. And uh, so it's always a good time when when the family's together. And then a heads up, my dad is gonna be going to Switzerland tomorrow and he's gonna be gone for about five weeks. So I'll be bringing you more solo hikes in that time. Maybe I can recruit Neil too. We don't know when he's going back to New York. Either way, here we are. Let's go kill this hike. All right. Well, we are well underway on the Dick Young Forest Reserve Trail. Whoa, icy. So we're at uh, one of the corners of the circle. One of the corners of the circle. But uh, I was telling Neil what's kind of unique about this is we can see where we're hiking. We're just gonna be going right around the ridge line back toward the tower and then, yep, that's, you can see the silo, silhouette of the silo up on the hill there. a moon well the sunlight is coming from the that's weird yeah the moon's right next to the sun no it's not it's that's the sun no I don't think so I think this we can't see the sun well I can't see the moon I think they're only seeing the moon and you think it's the sun the oh, clouds are more that's definitely right the now, sun as opposed to that spot that it went you think that circle right there is the sun yeah. yes it is isn't that crazy are you sure because we're staring straight at it yeah. Usually you can't do that. Well, usually, well, I mean, we still shouldn't be staring at it, <laughs> Dude, but it does. Crazy. It does have a bunch of filters around it, meaning clouds. That looks crazy. It looks like the moon. I guess now it's bright. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe we just like saw a hole in the sky. Oh, I didn't mean to get the camera in the way. Tell that story again. Well, so, when I was birding over the summer, uh, I, would, I would identify the bird in a, in a bird field guide, and then from there I would look up the bird on the Audubon app, and then in the app I could log the sighting and I could play that specific kind of bird's calls. And so the coolest one that I had happen was at Chain of Lake State Park with dad and we saw two cranes. They turned out to be sandhill cranes. And so I, I identified them, I wrote down the date and place that I saw them and then I went to Audubon, looked them up, uh, logged them in there, took a photo, logged it in there. But I played 
sandhill crane noises. And sandhill cranes are like... They're pterodactyls. They're, they're yeah, big. Yeah. They're big. They're big. Yeah. There's, ah, ah, there's ah, two ah. of them. <laughs> and uh, so I play it, and then both of them just go, start in this like crazy neck vibrating noise yeah. like like pterodactyls. Jurassic Park like, noise, yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! And they kept doing that and it was the craziest thing. Yeah. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Oh my God. I mean, really. And, and I just like chalked it up to like, that is manipulating nature. Like. Yeah, literally. Like that was so fun. It's like, it's like a cheat code. <laughs> <laughs> like I can make these birds over here like do something. I can yeah. like <laughs> it was so weird and it was so Time to do our best chicken in the yeah. cases, uh, <laughs> learn from arrested development. I learned I can make them dance. <laughs> I can make them fight. <laughs> so I mean I, I you're telling a story, but I hope you guys are looking at the sun uh, just sort of sparkling through the ice on the uh, yeah, this is crazy. On the branches. That's the word I'm looking for. Branches. Very mm. shiny. It looks like this is all um like an ice sculpture. I have to get closer. And I love this color back here. I think we're really lucky the sun came out just now. Hmm. What uh, What do you guys think about hiking in the snow? I like it. Well, you got the snowshoes, so you definitely should like it. And that's working out. Mm -hmm. No wildlife. No flowers. Maybe wildlife. No flowers, yeah. It's very serene. I kind of like that. Not, Not a lot of movement. People. It's quiet. Uh, a little more exercise. Yeah. The smaller hikes feel a lot bigger. Yeah. And it is cold. What are we at? We're at 23 when we left the car. Yeah, it's about 23. So I think for me, I like the snow so long as I can stay warm, which, you know, a little, little bit of movement goes a long way. Mm -hmm. I'm totally warm. I think it's a, a great change. Uh, definitely no worry about bugs, mosquitoes, mm -hmm. sun. Uh, I guess you should still worry about the sunburn a little bit, but mm -hmm. not as much. And you know you're not going to get too hot. <laughs> so now we got little brother Neo on the uh, snowshoes. How are you liking it? I'm doing my best. It's interesting. It's definitely a... Uh... Like a different feeling, working different muscles. <laughs> Slippery, I'll come over here. Get the camera out here. If you got 360s, it's a pretty neat view. But the sun making the ice glisten and all that glisten. Everybody's walking the wrong way. What? So this is Lake Nelson, huh? This prairie, I, we gotta come back here in the summer. This just looks spectacular. All right, so we have a pheasant here in the foreground. A tail. <laughs> oh. Oh, there it is. Just kind of ducked a little bit. Yeah, it's hiding. Well, that's a first. I think we're going to come into contact with more. All right, one more video. 
I've been racking my brain because this does not look like a prairie. Obviously, it's winter time. But to the right is clearly a field. That is a farm field, no doubt about it. So simple to see that that's a farm on the right. And on the left, it's now so simple to see that that's a prairie. Yeah, the farm looks great. Like you can see where... Yeah, the striping. Yeah. Very cool to look at the two side by side. Hey guys, we just finished our hike at Dick Young Forest Preserve over in Kane County, Illinois. So I am standing under the silo. That is the marker for the trailhead and also a marker from any point along this hike around Lake Nelson. Uh, you can always get a little bit lost and then find your way uh, by, by looking for the silo. So it turned out to be about three and a half miles around the lake. Uh, let me tell you about the snowshoes. So I wore snowshoes for the first time during this hike. And I don't know, I found to be, I think I did pretty, pretty well with them. I, I felt like I was a natural. And uh, what I was finding as I did this was to be lifting with your knees with each step. Uh, that is because like the snowshoes are pretty big, so you got to get them up in the air. But I mean, I kept a really great pace. Uh, you know, my, my brother and my dad were kind of um, slipping on the ice during some parts, but I just kept a steady eddy pace and just kept on going. And uh, the, the snowshoes really help with um, finding your bearing in the snow or in the ice. So that was really cool. I'm really uh, happy to have had that experience and I, I'm gonna keep using them going forward. Other than that, uh, some, some really cool photos too. Uh, this is you know, my first hike with snow on the ground and we got uh, sunlight reflecting like the glistening snow and the glistening icicles, the glistening ice that was on the ground. And I, I'm really excited to see what kind of photographs I got and to, to see what kind of editing I can pull off. Other than that, I don't have much, much more to say. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you again next week.